on September 11th, uh, my husband and I had decided that we were going to take the morning to do some errands, have breakfast together, and vote. And so we dropped our daughter off at school in Brooklyn, where we live. I came down the stairs from the school, and my husband was talking to a stranger. And he had a, a page from a paperback novel in his hand. And the edges were burnt. And I said, what's that? And he said, look over there. And there was this, you know, mushroom of smoke. Just in an instant, life is gone, and that you go from a moment of just this extraordinary beauty to this extraordinary horror and terror and ugliness. I was so pregnant, I was hot, I was panicked, I was, I, I, I was scared. I cried out to Jesus and I asked him to, to, to just, Jesus, to just help me, help me get out of this. My first thought was, is that the building that my son works in? It was bleeding, the building was bleeding into the sky. In the air, you could feel the reality of it. Red lights on, I guess this is working. It flipped me into a, a different sort of consciousness about where I was in the world. What do I want future generations to know about this? There's nothing greater than love. I think time doesn't heal, it doesn't fix things, but time makes the trauma less sharp. It softens the edges.